Hi, I'm Dr. Burns. I just wanted to create a little guide here for the online navigation for the courses that I'm teaching this semester utilizing Blackboard. So in the following video slides, what I'm going to do is go through a sample course here showing you all the individual sections that I'm going to be using and how to navigate through it and what I kind of expect from you guys throughout the semester. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open a course in Blackboard. The course that I've chosen to open is ME144 Heat Transfer course. This should be similar uh, setup for all the courses that I'm teaching this semester. One of the things I want to draw your attention to right away is over on the left hand side this navigation bar here where we can see we have a couple of main topics here that we can click on. The first one being home, getting started, our syllabus, course materials, assignments, and then related documents or equation sheets may or may not be applicable for certain courses. So if we click on the home tab, it takes us right to where we are now. This is our announcement section. Now I'll be using this announcement section as the primary, primary mode of communication throughout the semester. You can see I've already got here our welcome introduction announcement here. Welcome to ME144 Heat Transfer. I talk about the 15 work course here. It's a little bit of a help into navigation through this how I plan to set up the semester, a link to the getting started section, a link to the syllabus, and any other pertinent information. And as we go on, I'll do the same one for week one, week two, and as things important things come up, I'll be sending them out as announcements with links to where they are within Blackboard for the course. Now next I'll move us up to the uh, getting started tab up here in the navigation on the sidebar. We'll click on that here and what I've provided for you guys here is a couple of documents, information, instructional videos of just how to get going, how to utilize Blackboard for my courses here and what I kind of expect throughout the semester. So I have a little introduction uh, post here about getting started, talk about the course again. Again, a little bit more information on navigation using the sidebars, where things can be found. And I've also, uh, this is where this video will be. So you're watching a video within a video here. So this will be posted right here in the getting started section for how to navigate through and a little description of it there. Also within here, I have my plan for remote instruction. So many of the courses that I'm teaching this semester are going to be uh, asynchronous courses. So it's going to let go through what I plan to post, how I plan to post it, what I expect from you, time frames, things of that nature. I talk about exams and everything within this here. And then down here below that, I have a section on planning and time management for online classes. And this is an important video that you guys should definitely reference, especially as we're talking about these asynchronous courses and how you're going to manage your time to treat this just as if you were in an in-person class. And lastly, down here, I have a little grading criteria for your homework, which will be the same for your exams as well. So now we'll move back up to our side navigation bar and we can see our, our next tab down here is our syllabus tab. So within this, this is also syllabus and the course schedule for the semester. So you can see I have a link here that you can click on this. This will take us to a PDF, open a new tab with the syllabus for the semester within the syllabus, which we're going to be going over in our, in our first lecture for module one. This will talk about uh, the credit hours, prerequisites, textbook, objectives, topics, grading breakdown, um, and all that information that you need there. Now we can go back here and we can see I have my course schedule posted in two formats. I have the spreadsheet posted out here. I have gone through and done my best to make this current for the entire semester, but it is subject to change. If there's a topic area that we need to spend a little bit more time on, we may extend lecture eight or a little bit longer or lecture nine if there's more information you want on uh, working through problems, things of that nature. It may be subject to change, but this is a rough overview. And within this here, I've also laid out when the homeworks are assigned, when they're due, how the group projects fall in and all that information. And this is also given in PDF form here as well uh, as a reference for you if you do if, as another means of looking at the schedule and saving it to your computer. So now we'll go back up to the next uh, selection on our side navigation bar and this is course materials. This is going to be the main section throughout the entire semester that you're going to utilize to get your online lectures. So what we can see here is I've chosen to go with a 15 week module based outline for my online courses. You can see I've got module one all the way down through here to module 15 for the entire course here. So module one will start with so this is going to tell you right here in right at the beginning part in the course materials. This is uh, introduction, 
lecture, and we're going to talk about the physical origins of rate transfer for this ME144 class. It's going to tell you when the duration, the time for this class is, from February 1st till February 5th, 2021. Um, it'll have a little bit of an overview of what to expect here. So this is going to be your introduction, and we're going to talk about the physical origins and rate equations, and then related sections in the textbook, what and how from section 1.1, and physical origins and rate equations from section 1.2. So again, this is specific to ME144. It will uh, be adapted for each of the courses that I am teaching as well. Now, if you click on this module here, it'll take you in to the content of this. Now, what you can expect to see within the content of this is I'm going to give you the first top section within this module, a little overview of the week. So I'll have a description of what we're going to do, what we're going to work on here, what the objectives are for the learning goals for the week here, your required readings and viewings throughout the week, uh, when we're assignments, I'm going to tell you where those are located. There'll be a little couple minute introduction overview video where I talk about everything that's kind of listed out here. Um, then we'll get down into the bulk here where we have our actual lectures. So the lectures here, okay, this is week one lecture. Lecture one for this module is going to be the introduction and the course overview. And I'll have a lecture video and you can see I have the video uh, linked right here. If there's any related materials, there'll be links posted next to it, any type of uh, hand notes as I go through sample problems. These will all be linked here as well. So this will be where the bulk of your online lectures for these courses will be. And at the bottom of this here, after the lectures, you'll have your weekly assignments. And this will link to an assignment section here. So you'll have Reading Quiz 1. You can either click it here, and it'll take you there, let you know the due date, all that information. You can click here and go to it. Or we can go back up top here and click on our assignment section there. Both this here and the link at the bottom here will take us to the same spot to our assignment section. So if we do that there and we click on our assignment section right here on our side navigation bar, it'll take us over here. And you can see I have these all, again, one quiz a week. So this will be all 15 weeks. Your homework assignments will also be within these as well. So if you click on the week one assignments, it'll let you know everything that we need to do for week one, any quizzes, any homework problems, any exam, any group project stuff. It will all be listed, organized in these weekly assignment folders. For this case here, for week one, for this ME144 course, there's no homework assignments, there's no exams. The first thing is just going to be your first reading quiz. So you can click on this here for your reading quiz. It'll take you. It'll be an online quiz. You can begin it, and all the information, the due dates will be posted there. So then the last thing I have for this specific course here is an equation sheet. This may vary the title of this or other this tab is even here for other courses. This will be for any supplemental information, material, things throughout the semester that will be helpful for homeworks, exams, problem solving, things of that nature. So you can see here, any of that stuff will be listed under the last tab here on the side navigation bar. So again, this is kind of what I have laid out for all of my courses throughout this semester for these online courses via Blackboard. Um, all announcements will be sent right through to the home section here, and they should double up for you guys as emails as well, letting you know. So I've tried to provide everything in an uh, organized manner that's easy to follow and navigate, and having things in multiple locations to find them as well. But again, if you have any questions as you're going through and navigating this stuff, Teams is always the best way to communicate with me. So you can send me a chat or an email, and we can get together, and I can go through the navigation uh, for this Blackboard for this course. This is something that's very important. So if it's not quite clear to you how to navigate, how to find certain things, please reach out to me as soon as possible, and we can get that sorted out. Thanks. I hope you guys have a great semester.